And for show number 33, we are going to stretch out those hamstrings once again and your spine. But this is a different kind of a stretch. And, um, you know, I have to be real honest with you. When I first learned this umpteen years ago, I sure didn't like it. You might not like it either. So I forgive you for that. But you need to keep doing it anyway, just like I did, because ultimately you'll be grateful that you did. It is not the most comfortable of, of stretches because it's got strange limitations. When you come up, we're going to be holding your leg. You're going to come up, stretching the hamstring, but you've got to keep the lower part of the shoulder blade on the floor. In other words, it's not one of those where you can come all the way up and stretch. That is not the point. And way back when I started yoga, I was still very much of an aggressive exerciser. I want to just, gee whiz, if it's head to knee, let's get on up there and put the head to the knee. And that's not what this one is all about. So listen to the cues as we work together. You're lying flat on your back. Inhale through the nose. Now, exhale, lift up your leg, reach up and hold it, exhaling, come up only to the point that you've got the shoulder blade, the lower part of the shoulder blade on the floor, and pull the leg to your head. Don't tip your head forward any farther than it is now. That's a really major stretch in that hamstring, and exhale, ease down, straighten out your leg, and completely relax. Going to the other side, inhale first, exhale, leg up, pick up your head, pull the leg towards your head, do not come up higher than the lower part of your shoulder blade. Pull your leg towards your head, don't bring your head up to your leg. See, that's how hard that, that's my tendency is to do it, but you've got to crunch up the stomach muscles and pull that leg in deep, deep stretch in the hamstrings, and then lower your head, ease your leg down, and relax completely. Again, inhale, bring your leg up. Exhale, pick up your head, bring the leg toward your face, pull, pull. Now exhale and breathe softly at this point, breathe softly. And ease your leg down, push the heel of your foot away from your body as you lower your leg. And inhale, other leg up. Exhale, come, come up now, bring that leg towards you, bring it towards you. Take your time now, breathe softly, breathe softly. Lengthen out those muscles, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Good, and ease your leg back down and relax, completely relax. We're going to try it one more time on either side. I hope by now you understand that the whole purpose and, and you'll notice every time we do it, those hamstrings release a little bit more. So it's a very interesting stretch. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, pick up your head, keep the bottom part of the shoulder blades on the floor. Exhaling, pull, pull. Pull towards you. Stomach tight. Now breathe softly. Breathe softly. Ease your leg down. And relax. One last time, other side. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, pick up your head, your shoulders. Keep the bottom part of the shoulder blade on the floor. Begin to pull. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Slowly ream it out, lengthen out that hamstring, lengthen it out, lengthen it out. A little bit at a time, come on, come on, come on. Good, good, good. No bouncing, no forcing. That is deep, deep stretching. And ease your leg down and completely let go. Just let yourself go completely for a moment. It feels so good and bend your knees, put your feet flat on the floor, stomach tight, a pelvic tilt, push your feet as far away from you as possible, keeping your toes on the floor. Lift up your head and shoulders, arms up, interlock your thumbs, sit up. Put the soles of your feet together. Always good to do a forward stretch when you finish a posture such as that. And come back up into the upright position. Now, some time back, we did a posture 
which we, we refer to as the pretzel, you might remember. You bring your right heel to the outer right hip. You bring the left foot to the inside of your right thigh. And then you would, you would lift your knees and drop to the other side. Do you remember that? And then lift back up and just keep rotating. Well, now we're going to do that again, but this time we're going to incorporate the entire posture. So that means that we're going to work the arms and the shoulders as well. In this position, with the right heel to the outer right hip and the left foot to the inside of your thigh, bring your arms back and interlace your fingers. Turn your shoulders over your left thigh. And then inhale through the nose and slowly fold over your extended leg, over the thigh, folding forward slowly. Now this is terribly important that you go slowly. As you go slowly, you will feel the muscles in the back of your thigh and in your hip that are working. Folding forward, rib, rib cage on your thigh, put your forehead on the floor and your arms up. Pick up your head, line your neck up to your spine. Now this is where it's a little bit hard. You need to come up very slowly and you will really identify every single muscle that is bringing your torso up. So this is tending to your hip muscles, the back of your thighs, the part actually of your hip that wants to be a thigh. Do you know what I'm talking about? When it wants to lie down, you're always sitting there pulling your bathing suit down. This is what gets that. Now lift up your knees, feet flat, and rotate in the opposite direction. And turn over your right thigh, inhale, Fold forward slowly. Lead with your chin. Fold forward. Put your forehead on the floor. Arms way high. Way high. Inhale. Pick up your head. Slowly come up. Feel those muscles work. Feel that. That's really a toner in those hips. And exhale. Lift up your knees and rotate your joints. This rotation course is fantastic for your joints. Turning over your left thigh, inhale deeply. Exhale, fold over your thigh slowly. Lead with your chin, fold forward, fold, fold, fold. Arms way high, way up. Open the shoulders, open your chest. Pick up your head, inhale. Slowly come up, slowly come up and exhale and one more time on the other side arms back inhale chin up exhale fold forward lead with your chin lead with your chin head down arms way high pick up your head bring your torso up And exhale. That's wonderful. That's worked in that those hip joints and the shoulder joints. A lot of areas that you just ordinarily are not going to get. Now we're going to work on another posture. Uh, this is really a favorite, and this is called the crow. When you do the crow, what is involved here is concentration, balance, and upper body strength. You may feel more comfortable by getting a big soft pillow and putting it in front of you because that fear of falling is kind of, you know, in the back of your mind. And when you come up on your tiptoes, you separate your knees and you bring your shoulders down. This is terrifically important. Your shoulders are in front of your knees. You're not up here. You're down. Your chest is close to the floor. The elbows are bent. And that's extremely important so that the shin bones are going to have a place to rest on. If your elbows are straight, there's no way in this world that you're going to do this posture. So you've got to go with me step by step, okay? You sit on your heels, bring your chest down, bend your elbows, put your palms flat on the floor close to your feet, get the legs resting on the back of your arms, you're going to lean forward and put your body weight on your hands. Just lean your weight forward, lift up on one foot, and lift up on the other foot. And hold. And come back up. 
Now, see, on yoga, we do weightlifting. We, weight, we lift our own weight. So let's try it again. I have done this, and, and there are times I do it so many times, I end up having bruises. You'll notice bruises on my arms. I'm always banging myself up, so be careful of that. The thing to be aware of is your shin bone can be very sharp against the back of your arm. So when you do it, you want to fidget around and work until you can get more of the fleshy part of your leg on the back of your arm so that you don't dig bone in there and end up with bruises, if you bruise as easily as I do. So again, you're on your uh, tiptoes, sitting on your heels. Get a big old soft pillow in front of you so that you have no fear of falling forward. Bring your chest low to the floor, low to the floor. If your chest is up, you're just not going to get it. Your elbows are bent. The leg is resting on the back of your arms. You need to bring your hands in fairly close to your feet. Otherwise, if your hands are out here, you can't do it you, because you're going to be transferring the center of gravity from your feet to your hands. That is why your hands have to be in close to your feet. Draw your stomach in. Lean forward. Push your hands into the floor. Lift up one foot and then the other. Hold your balance. Try to keep your hips close to your heels so that you don't confuse it with a handstand, which is something that frequently happens. People come up, and they'll come way up here and lean forward, and then they, 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 they've got the crow, and that's not it. It's got to be keeping the hips and the heels close to each other. Great for building these muscles. So again, bring your feet in close, hands in toward the feet, chest down, lean forward, push up on one, then on the other, and hold. Come back up and rub the heels of your hands, rub around your wrists, loosen up in the wrist area on the other side. It, it, don't kick into it, just work into it gradually. Keep rubbing, then rub the back of your arms, rub the back of your arms. And it's an interesting pose, even if you don't get in it. Please remember this, even if you don't get in it, when you're up in this position, you're stretching the arches in your feet. When you're leaning forward, you're working your arms. You're working your inner thighs. You're working a lot, even if you don't completely accomplish it all the way. Still do it and keep at it. Thanks. Next time. Bye. To purchase a copy of Fit and Nifty Over 50, program 012-003, please call 1-800-553-7752 or write to the address on your screen.